Stop your grinning and drop your linen. Couch Coop is here with the split screen review of the new Call of Duty Cold War Zombies. If you don't know me, I am YouTube's biggest split screen reviewer. I checked it. And I reviewed Modern Warfare last year and it broke my heart. They took loads of stuff out. We do not have the same case here. I will be reviewing all split screen couch co op PlayStation 5 content. I've just finished the Dirt 5 split screen review. Link in the description. I suggest you subscribe because this year's going to be crazy we've got so much to cover first off i want to tell you that you push square on the title screen to get to your offline local co-op options and they are very different you have access to everything but you don't have the progression that you would if you were sitting this online in a private game okay so the person that joins you if you're going online must have a paid playstation network account the person that's joining you locally just needs a profile no guest stuff that's all gone when you play local co-op you have access to all attachments all maps and all missions it's totally epic Now the PlayStation 5 Call of Duty supports ray tracing and it also supports 120 hertz but you need the TV so what will happen is in the options it's locked to be able to move that onto that number so this is the ray tracing can you believe it or not this is not the best this game can look with frame rates this is to do with dramatic light and detail just like Dirt 5 it's looking absolutely incredible in split screen this is a new experience for me having this smoothness with two people using one system at this point in my review, I'm really happy, and this game is doing exactly what I expected it to do. With a few new tweaks, the haptic triggers, everything is feeling very current gen. And then, something else happened. I would watch and help from you. About time Go now. Fine. They've actually added a vertical split. I think this is the first time I've ever seen this. Randy Pritchford, pay attention. Borderlands 3 didn't even have this. And they are rumoring to put it in actually for the new patch for the PlayStation 5. But it runs better, it looks better, it is actually extremely workable. You're totally occupied with your screen, it is big enough, it is epic, man! It doesn't skip a beat. I mean this, it does not miss one frame when things are going crazy 20 plus zombies on screen right up in your face and you're both firing and you're both within the vicinity of each other it doesn't care it keeps going it is the new age people we have reached the split screen promised land and man, I've been running this channel for five years. I have never felt this satisfied with a product before in my life when it comes to couch co-op. Triarch, I applaud you. I actually stood up and applauded these guys after getting this horizontal split. But we ain't done. We are not done by half. Okay, sit down, sit down, because you're gonna need to really soak this up. So the outbreak mode, I don't know if you guys know about it. They've really poorly marketed it, if you ask me. I didn't know much about it. I just thought it's a new mode, it's online only, you know, another bloody gimmick from these money grabbers. This is an apex map, like there's three of them. There's Colossus Massive. I'll pull up the map screen in a second. You do it just like on the center button and you've both got your markers and you've both got a tagging system, right? There's vehicles in this map. By the way, this is a V2 uh, missile silo, right? For teaming with everything loot like body armor different guns the same purchase system but the gun shops are symbols on the maps you have to find them you have to proactively find them man this is an open world zombie adventure map the whole thing can be played in local co-op with no attachment to the internet whatsoever and no randoms coming in. Absolutely nothing is stripped away. In actual fact, you have more access to all the weapons and all the skins and all the attachments because you can have a loadout to start with, which you can increase the value of if you were using the progression system that you would online. That's fair enough. What that means is that you can't grind offline and then just turn up online with an amazing profile. The offline local co-op version just gives you the ability to be able to look at everything. But more importantly, pick one of the three 
Outbreak maps. And this one is one of my favorite. There's another one coming up, the Arctic one I'm not a big fan of, but it's the missions. This is an escort mission. We're taking this chemical to get dropped off and it's pushing the zombies at us. It praises team play. Every little task is randomized. There's bosses in here, mini bosses in here that will drop some cool stuff, man, man. So here's the game loop. You spawn into one of these large maps and you have all your mission markers. You don't have to go to them proactively immediately. What you'll do is what you would do on PUBG or Apex or anything else, and that is just go through all the buildings and get all your cool stuff together, maybe buy a shotgun, get some armor on, get your grenades in, the stim pack, and then go for the task, which could be anything from an escort mission to holding off a particular point to even going to find a special target. It will be a beefed up, scary nightmare zombie. Once said task is complete, you then get the chance to spawn in the beacon. Now this number up on the top right hand side that says one, that's the difficulty tier. Okay, so we're about to now teleport to the next map, which will be one of the randomized three, and then we start this process again. But that number will be two, and all the enemies will be different. They're wearing flak jackets, the dogs, man, the acid dogs. Just remember guys, we're only in the zombie tab of the new Call of Duty game. I've downloaded the zombie section and not even the campaign yet because this is so juicy. This is all of the stuff you can do to your gun. It, ideally, if you were playing it online, this is the progression tree you would choose. The optics are ridiculous. Right down to reticle type, just like in the old school Call of Duty's stickers, camos, all within that little zombie sphere. Totally love that idea. There will be challenge beacons that will say to you, okay, so now you've got five minutes to headshot as many zombies as possible or fly on your parachute as long as possible. They run in the background and depending on how well you're doing them is what loot you pick up when you go back to it. I think Golova is easily one of my faves because of its visuals, the way the sun is kind of setting, it's like an autumn, there's a lot of greenery, you're in farms and little cottages, some of the houses are really quaint, like you do feel like everyone's disappeared, there's a huge outbreak on this massive map and it's just you and your couch co buddy taking every zombie down one at a time and finding the coolest loot and buying the best shotgun and just having so much fun with each other. Communication is awesome. You just look over and see what's happening to them, but it's really good with a ping system and being able to see where they are digitally on the map and on screen at all times. It's a great piece of footage here. Kez goes in too early. I'm like, what are you doing? There's a boss down there. I circle on my parish. I've never had so much freedom. I'm looking over at her screen to see how she's doing. The whole thing felt fantastic. So the mode that we looked at at the beginning of the video with the flat split and being trapped in those smaller maps, which is the traditional zombie setup that we've seen from Triarch, is now this tiny little memory <laughs> in my brain. This is just occupying everything. I'm like, I need more. I didn't even get footage of being in vehicles. You can share them. There's cars, there's snowmobiles, there's freaking trucks. There's skins, and I saw a tank skin. There's a freaking tank skin somewhere. There's a tank in here somewhere. You will notice that my UI on the left screen is just janked up by about two inches, but it didn't hinder my experience at all. I imagine that will definitely be patched. I wanted us both to sort of walk gently through so you can see how smooth it is and how much detail is on either of these screens here. And it's got a genius scanning system where it sends out that orange ping and only gives you the location of the zombie once every like second and a half. So you can't guarantee that walking behind and not facing a direction is clear until you see that sweep. So you sort of look up, you check it's safe. It even shows the elevation of the zombies themselves. Getting high, getting a cool area, communicating, hurtling in with a truck when someone's about to get eaten alive.
So understandably, I have looked at the Call of Duty games every year for half a decade. And every year I see the developers just take a small chunk away from the split screen, like slowly start dismantling it. It was sending alarm bells to me. It was like split screen is gonna basically be phased out. All the AAA developers don't really care about it. And when the five comes out, that's probably gonna be the nail in the coffin. Nail in the coffin? The coffin just got smashed over the head with a sledgehammer. <laughs> So this is one of the sort of end of map objectives. You activate this crystal, you actually blow it up, and then you get sucked into this tiny little waiting room. You know, it's like one of them smoking rooms at an airport. And there's like four windows, and it just shoves them all into you. It's basically a really concentrated horde mode. So the genius of that idea is that you still get that fix that you were having in the original mode of this game, but it's just speckled in and randomized, and it looks crazy. There's 80s music. The zombies really do move fast. I tried to solo this last night and nearly lost my mind. I suppose we should talk about Dead Ops Arc Arcade. It's a little bit like hearing a full orchestra, right? And then going, big white orchestra, and it's just a bloke with a triangle over the other side. Ding! Dead Ops Arcade. Don't worry about it, it's still there. Great little twin stick. They put a first person mode of this in here, which I'm not even gonna bother with, guys. You don't even, I mean, it's fun, it's cool, and it's so great for them to keep this going. It isn't a bad little twin stick, but against the colossal noise that is the outbreak mode, I strongly suggest you look at that first. As you can understand, the game looks even more phenomenal when you haven't got the split, and it is great to do this online co-op with your buddies. It's a perfect system. Think Apex, PUBG meets a zombie apocalypse, open world with a little bit of battle royale and progressive sort of hunter gathering loot system in there as well. And I'm aware that Warzone has injected some zombies into its gameplay model. But this is where I'm at, a pure co-op based couch co-op experience. And guys, we don't get it often, but we've got a win here with the Call of Duty franchise. And this is the first time you've ever heard me or the channel do me a favor, give me a like, give me a sub, because we've got loads more coming, guys. As always, today! Three